Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at bookmark bar folders in Safari. So this week I'm doing something special with MacMost Now. I'm asking for your help. You see, MacMost, the podcast and the website, they only grow when people find out about them through word of mouth. So I'm asking you to help me out by mentioning MacMost in your blog, tweeting about it, mentioning it in your Facebook status, reviewing it at iTunes, things like that. You can go to macmost.com slash help out for some suggestions of really quick and easy ways that you can help spread the word about the MacMost Now video podcast. Thanks. And in return, this week I'm doing five episodes instead of my usual three. Now if you've been using web browsers for a long time, you've seen bookmarks evolve. First, it was just a simple pull down menu. You can add items to it and you could pull the menu down and jump to a web page. Now you can organize your bookmarks, put them in folders, do all sorts of things. And there's the bookmarks bar in Safari which is very useful, but it's a limited amount of real estate. It's just across the top of the browser window. However, you could add folders in it and create a lot of complexity and store a lot of bookmarks in this bookmarks bar. So here's pretty much the default bookmarks bar that you get when you first launch Safari. You'll notice some bookmarks here of some single websites you can jump to. You also notice two folders here. If you click on these, they act as pull down menus listing a bunch of different websites. So for instance, you can go to this popular one and it lists a bunch of websites, ones that Apple has pre-populated in there for you. This one's even more interesting because in addition to a bunch of websites, you've got an RSS feed in here and the RSS feed even shows you the number of items in the feed and you see that number as a total here. So how do you edit these? Well, a lot of things you can do. You can click and drag them to move them around in the bar and you can also control click or right click on them and do things like edit the name, edit the address, copy, even delete. You can also click on show in collections which will take you to the same place if you go to bookmarks and show all bookmarks. Here it says hide all bookmarks now because I've already looking at them. And here you can see on the left collections which include things like your history and things like that. And you could also look at bookmarks menu and you can do bookmarks bar which I have selected. And these are the items that you can see at the top here. I can rearrange them in here as well. I can also look inside folders here. I can even move items inside folders or out of folders to the main bar. So while you have limited space here at the top, you can do some really interesting things. For instance, once you're in here, you can hit the plus button at the bottom just off the screen and create a new folder. So let's call that one MacMost for instance. And I can now add some bookmarks inside there. So for instance, let's go to MacMost.com and let's bookmark this page. Let's add bookmark and it'll bring this up and I can now select in bookmarks bar that MacMost folder that I've created. I can click add. Now let's also go into the top news page at MacMost and bookmark that. And it will automatically go back to that same folder. I'll add it. Now when I show all bookmarks, I can see in MacMost I've got these two here. I can change the names of these by clicking on them and then hitting return to change just as you would change the name of a file in the finder. So I can change this one to MacMost Home. This one I'll keep as top Apple related news. I can change the URLs if I want to. And now in the bookmarks bar, I've got this MacMost pull down here with two links. If these are the two most uh, commonly visited pages in the site here, I can easily visit both of them but only taking up one slot in the bookmarks bar. Now you can use folders in a more traditional way as well. For instance, you can create categories. So I can create a news category, entertainment category, games category, uh, reviews category, and organize your bookmarks that way, putting each thing in there. And you can even create one for your most important bookmarks, like ones that affect your site or your social media accounts as well. It's a way for you to fit hundreds of bookmarks right into that bookmarks bar and have them easily accessible by just click, drag, and select. You can even put folders inside of folders. So for instance, I've added to the MacMost pull down another folder called Favorite Videos. And here I'm storing bookmarks of all of my favorite videos from MacMost. Another thing you could do with a folder here is select it by right clicking or control clicking and select open in tabs. And what this will do is it'll open every single one of the items in here in a separate tab. So say first thing in the morning, you want to check Facebook, you want to check Twitter, you want to check your Google Reader page. You can put them all inside of one of these folders, click it, 
right click it, select open in tabs and open all of those web pages at once. So I hope you found this look at Safari bookmark bar folders useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Thank <laughs> you.